Hey YouTube, so I really, I just organized my lipstick drawer and I really wanted to do a lipstick collection video because lipstick is kind of like my weakness in the makeup world. I buy so much lipstick, but I really wanted to do a lipstick collection, but I've realized I just have way too many lipsticks to go through and show them and swatch them for everybody. So I'm actually going to break them up by brand and then when I start to get into brands that I have less of, I will combine some brands. So I was going to start with my Maybelline lipsticks because I have a lot of Maybelline lipsticks. So eventually I was just going to do like a series of like my Rimmel, my Revlon, just because I love lipstick and I just wanted to do a lipstick collection video, but it would just be too long. So I'm just going to film a series of lipstick collections. So if you don't like lipstick, you're going to really hate my channel for a couple days because it's going to be a lipstick mania. So without further ado, my Maybelline lipsticks. Now I own a lot of Maybelline lipsticks. I love getting their like limited edition lipsticks and everything. So don't judge me. Okay. So first is number six. I'll start with the color sensationals. I have 645 in red revival. It's very pretty red. I can't change. I have that song stuck in my head. And that is red revival. Very bright, fun red. Even brighter from the Vivids collection, I have, if I can get it out of my lipstick drawer, on fire red. Oh my lant. Number 895, which is another brighter red as opposed to next to it right there. That's on fire red there. <clears throat> on fire red. Next from the Vivids collection, I have Infrared, number 985, which you can guess is another red lipstick. I am a red lipstick fiend, friends, okay? These are probably all looking similar to you, but there are slight differences to them. That's Infrared. Next from the Vivids collection, I have Neon Red, if you're not sick of my reds yet, and this is Neon Red. Neon red. And then next is from the Vivids collection. And it is Vivid Rose, number 875. That's Vivid Rose right there. Vivid Rose. And then from the Vivids collection, I'm probably killing you all with this. I have 970 Electric Fuchsia. Check that baby out. Check out that puppy. I'll put it on the other side of Red Revival. Whoa. That's some color. And I love these color sensational lipsticks. I think they last a really long time on the lips. This one is number 10, Coral, Coral Carnation, which is a light coral orange color. Looks very different from the other vivid ready colors. Then next is Park Avenue Peach, number 535. I love this color. That's Park Avenue Peach. Nice color. And then I have number 975, also from the Vivids collection, Pop of Cherry, which looks like a red, but it's really not. It's like a coral, cool lady color. The next, also from the Vivids line, Jesus, is 980 Orange Edge, which is a bright orange color. Like I said, I am just obsessed with lipstick. Now I'm making a huge turnaround here. I have number 65 Hooked on Pink. Which is actually a really great berry shade. Then I have number 820 in Marvelous Shine. And the reason I have this is it was on clearance from Rite Aid. I mean, CVS for a while ago. But it's a really pretty fall color. It's one of their shine lipsticks. Marvelous Shine. It's just so marvelous. Next I have number 055 Pink Alicious. Pinkalicious. 
This one's really worn down. Pinkalicious. Then I have number 155, Party Pink, another berry color. I can't change. I'm always singing songs. Right there. Then I have number 045 in Pink Me Up. This one's more creamy. It doesn't really have, it has a cream finish. I've used it a lot. It's a very kind of universal shade. Then I have number 20, Strike a Posy. Strike a Posy. My back's starting to hurt. This is going to be a really long video. I can just tell. That is Strike a Posy. And I have number 455. Marvelous. It's missing its top. Now this is not for the faint of heart. It is for a very deep berry purple color for the fall. Then I have, this is from their, I think their porcelain collection last year in 865 Nude Nuances. And this just makes me look like I crawled from the crypt. I just cannot pull off nude lipsticks at all. I'm really terrible at it. You can't even see it. It's right here next to the fuchsia color on. Then I have the color 75 in Let Me Pink. Another berryish toned color. I can't change. Why do I keep singing this song? Let Me Pink. This is number 280 in Rum Reach kind of a darker berry tone. They're just going to look very similar. I think that they just re-released some of their colors. This color is number 235, Warm Me Up, a cream neutral, beautiful, universally flattering, I believe, shade. I'll swatch it down here on my thumb. That's it right there. I'm running out of swatchy space. Then I have number 355 Tinted Taupe, which is a brown. My sister bought this for me. I will swatch it up here. That's it. Tinted Taupe right there. Then I have number 730. Ah, get back in my drawer. 730 Coral Gleam. And this is like a frosty coral color that I heard somewhere was good, but it's like totally out of the 80s with the frost. And I hate frost finish lipsticks. That's it right there. You can barely see it because it just shines and gleams everywhere. This is number 870 in Afternoon Tea, also from the Porcelains Collection. More of a neutral mauve purple color. That's it right there. I have a lot of Maybelline lipsticks, don't I? I love them. Then I have number 415 in Plum Tastic. Another berry plum. I'll swatch that up here. It's running into new nuances, but that's it right there. I'm gonna have to start swatching these on my arm. This is number 105 in Balaberry Shine. This was limited edition last year. This is Balaberry Shine. I could use my other hand, but I'm really bad with swatching with my left hand. This is number 840 Coral Lustra. A bright pop of coral fun. A bright pop of coral fun. Bright. I'm crazy. I'm aware. <laughs> that is Coral Lustra. And then I have Elegant Lilac. Also from the Porcelains Collection. It's purple. <laughs> And the reason I have it is because it was, it was a clearance lipstick, and I just had to have it because it's clearance. Then, I have four of their, um, the, back in the day, the moisture ones. These are from a long time ago, but I loved them. This is A97 Roseberry, which is another berry shade. These were, honestly, I'm so sad these were discontinued. They were such moisturizing, beautiful lipsticks. I loved them. It's really sad when they discontinued them. This is number 170 Petal. Just like 
a really bright 1980s Cindy Lauper lipstick. And girls, they wanna have fun. I should really start concentrating on this video. It's getting long. This is number A34, Born With It, and I adore this lipstick. It's such a natural, beautiful color. I will swatch it on my wrist. That's Born With It right there. And then we have, oh no, um, Peach Colada, which is a bright orangey shade, but actually looks really beautiful on the lips. That's Peach Colada. Now, my color whispers. This video is getting long. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just trying to like keep it organized and keep going. This is the color Who Wore It Redder, which is not a red. It is a pinkish berry. Makes me sad. It is really not a red at all. It is such a raspberry color. How do I get, see it? It's the underside right there. But it is not a red whatsoever. I was really disappointed. There is no true red in the Color Whisper collection, if you're wondering. So, this is the color Lust for Blush. It's a nude. That is Lust for Blush right there. Then we have Berry Ready, which, you know, is your berry color that you gotta love. These color whispers are very moisturizing. They're like tiny versions of the lip butters. This is 80 Made It Mauve. That's it right there. I'm like a swatch fiend on my arm right now. It's crazy. You crazy, Michael. You crazy. Oh my gosh, this video is so long. Two more left, guys. Bear with me. Pin Up Peach, number 30. Caught. Not without a casualty, though. Oh, I just dropped it. Dented it. Sad. But that is Pin Up Peach. Right there. Ugh. Have some pin up peach on my hand now. And then, last but not least, from Maybelline, I have Rose of Attraction, which is a pink with some sparkle in it. And I will swatch that down on my arm right here because I am running out of space. So, that's my Maybelline lipstick collection. I will continue this series. I might not upload every single lipstick like in succession, let me get this off my hand, in succession I might do like a couple reviews between and then my Rimmel lipstick collection and my Revlon lipstick collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video and all these crazy swatches of my Maybelline lipstick collection and have a great night guys. Bye!